All right, hey there students. So in this video today, we're gonna to go over the second type of depreciation method in this class. So to remind you here, what are the depreciation methods? You have the straight line, we just went over that. Next, we're gonna go over units of activity. So that's the one we're gonna focus on today. And the next video we'll do double declining balance. So units of activity is what we're focusing on here. Let's take a look. So with units of activity, you expense or do that depreciation expense in units. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it's based on your activity. So I'll show you an example in a little bit, but it's based on units of activity. That's why they call it that. Here's the formula. It's very similar to straight line. Take the cost of the asset, subtract out your salvage value, then you divide by the activity consumption. So what does that mean? Activity consumption. So with straight line, it was useful life of that asset. Now we're dividing it by the activity consumption. Now what does that mean? And the best way I can explain it to you is with an example. So here's an example here. Let's say you buy a $28,000 car. Okay, there's your little car there. That car has a 10 year life, $8,000 salvage, and you can drive it for a maximum amount of miles of 120,000. So those miles there, that right there represents the activity or the unit. You measure its life in miles, not years, in miles. So how long can you drive it for? That's a unit of activity. So let's do um, a little equation here. Oh, before we do that, in 2015, you drove 15,000 of those miles. So this is important information here. Take a look, jot it down if you need to. Now I'll show you how to calculate the depreciation expense. Okay, so we're gonna use that same data here and fill out that formula. So let's take a look. $28,000 for the cost of the asset, you deduct the salvage value of 8,000 and you divide it by the activity consumption, or you can say the maximum allowed miles for that car, which is 120,000 miles. So what we're getting here is what is the cost per mile? Or you can say the depreciation cost per mile. Let's see. So you get about 17 cents a mile. So for every mile that you drive that car, you depreciate it by 17 cents. That's what that means. So for 2015, let's see, what is our depreciation expense? Well, we drove it for 15,000 miles and we know that it's about 17 cents, right? Per mile. So let's see, what is our depreciation expense for 2015? $2,550. So for 2015, you depreciate that car by 2,550 miles. That's the rule. Once again, it's about activity consumption. And usually it's just cars that you have to worry about in this class. How many miles can you drive it total? Get the cost per mile and multiply it by each year. How many miles did you drive each year? And get the depreciation expense like that. Not too tough. Please rewind the video if you need to. There are a few steps for this one. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.